Welcome to the highlights of day four here in the Rotterdam Six at the Ahoy Arena. Over halfway in the competition and some riders coming good. Wim Strotinger and Jens Morris looking stronger. The overnight leaders Tepscher and Kaiser under pressure still from De Ketele and De Burst. The first event of the night was the Madison 100 laps, four sprints. Nolan Hoffman showing an early turn of speed. He's getting better as the racing goes on. A lot of the lesser teams like this team here using the opening Madison to attack and try and gain some laps. That was certainly the case with Belkin, Theo Boss and Graham Brown who started the day 12 laps down and gained two during this race. Wim Strotinger showing that his Vlasman team were doing particularly well this morning despite a lack of sleep because the racing started much much earlier 12 midday in fact so that the families could come in and enjoy Super Sunday. The big teams kept watching each other and it was those lying third and fourth place like the Peenemann squad here of Life Lampeter and Barry Marcus who made hay while the sun shone. Mark Hester in fact took the win in the end Along with Vivian Brees, who'd launched the initial attack, he was completely uncatchable. The World Madison champion and his partner Mark Hester, the Danish Dynamite, taking their first Madison victory of the competition. It was hardly a relaxed atmosphere in the team cabins, even if the mechanics make it seem so, because the team elimination was coming up. Nicky Tebstra throwing his bike at the line in a four abreast sprint towards the end and losing out. That meant vital points down the drain for the leading squad. In the end, it came down to a fight between the Danes, number eight, and the Belgians, number five, De Burst, trying to give Alex Rasmussen uh, the shoulder. But Rasmussen, a much bigger man, he wasn't going to be intimidated, and they took the win. A new track record, again, was hardly a possibility today with the earlier start and cooler temperatures. But it didn't stop Theo Boss trying to get it in the team time trial. The men who had got it yesterday, Marvoli and Marger, whipped up the crowd. They were going to go for it for sure, but as I say, it was a little cooler and they couldn't quite pull it off today, although they still did win the race with a 21-5-9-0. Another magnificent victory for them, three in a row. The magnificent Dernies were out again. This is so, so popular with all ages and a super fast race. Ketel in the burst. And Tebstra and Kaiser had been battling it out. But in the end, it came down to a sprint between Yuri Havik and Kenny de Ketel at Ron Zylard looking across and a top speed win for the Belgian pairing. In the second 40 lap journey, there was action straight away from the start and the two big teams Missing out on the early breaks, they left themselves way, way too much work to do to try and get back to a flying case Stam, who with about five laps to go realized that he could pull his man Nick Stöpler to a win. With one lap to go, it was clearly obvious they were not going to get caught. Case Stam doing a magnificent job. Michel Varten making sure that he could bring his man home. But it wasn't enough to take the victory. Stoppler taking the victory with Case Stam, a magnificent ride. This is one of the hardest fought and tightest six day battles you're ever likely to see. And running into the final 200 lap Madison of the night, it was all to play for. Early on, the smaller teams thought they'd gain a lap quite easily, and of course, they did. The big teams watching and marking each other. Decatur and the boost taking a lap, and then Terpstra and Kaiser taking one back on them. It was neck and neck. But the team to really watch out for were the Vlasman team. Here, latching onto an attack by Marcel Kaltz, it was Jens Morris who was incredibly attentive. And with partner Wim Strötinger, they managed to get a lap easily and cleverly. The Belgians tried to attack again and get another lap with 23 to go. But Kaiser and Terpstra were having absolutely none of it and brought it back. And it was left to Morris and his powerhouse ability to go away again with less than 10 laps to go. A terrific effort 
with Wynn Strottinger, the fastest man on the circuit by many, many kilometers. In the end, not only did they make the lap, but they got the sprint and the win. A magnificent win for the Vlasman team. But the two big contenders, Decatur de Bust and Kaiser and Terpstra, they're locked at the top in battle. It certainly isn't all over yet. Just how hard of a race was that, Kenny? Oh, it was uh, very hard. Uh, every race is hard, but uh, it's, uh, it's getting really a battle between four teams. Uh, and also what made it extra hard today is that we had to race in the daytime. We're used to racing at night and uh, yeah, the whole rhythm is uh, different today. So I'm happy we can uh, go for dinner and then just uh, relax all night. I didn't sleep very much. Uh, now there's four teams on lap zero. Jasper, does that complicate things? Yeah, it makes it complicated than yesterday and then the days before because four teams, it's, it's hard to control. And uh, there's some good races in there, so it will be hard to, to, keep, uh, to keep in first position till, uh, till, the, till Tuesday night. Uh, Jens Morris and Wim Stutinger clearly improving. They won the big chase. How dangerous are they for the f coming two days? Yeah, they are, they are improving. Um, I think uh, it has something to do with uh, Jens being uh, in, pr in preparation for his road season. So he's finding his track legs and uh, Wim is, uh, is always dangerous. So uh, I think they, uh, they are a very important outsider. Um, I think there's maybe two couples uh, that, that, that are really, really um, strong in the, in the chases is uh, I think it's us and uh, Tepsa Kese but uh, the, the, like you see today um, the more we look at each other then we, we get they take a lap back so uh, I think uh, there's for the end victory is four teams and uh, it's, gonna, it's gonna be very hard to control this one thanks guys congratulations here then are the overnight scores Decatur and De Burst stay at the top of the table with 250 points Terpstra and Kaiser are on the same lap and only seven points down. That's how close it is. And look at Morkoff and Rasmussen. They have really ca caught up with 222 points. The only other team on the same lap are Morris and Strottinger. A great day for them, but they're way down on points.